Hey, you guys, we already know that EMF is all around us at all times, and that is very dangerous. It can cause things like headaches, cancer, tumors, uh, your hair may be falling out, and you may not realize that that is, could be um, a result of you being exposed to the electromagnetic frequencies. Um, it can cause skin damage, it can cause organ damage, and so many other things, voices beamed in the head, so many other things. It's just not safe for us. So I'm going to show you this video where this guy found a very unique way to make his house EMF free. He feels that what he did to his house really helps, that he does not have any problems with, um, you know, any kind of headaches that he was getting before. Um, and other illnesses that he and his family were experiencing. He feels that what he did has taken care of that problem. His neighbors thought he was crazy for doing it, but now they're trying to figure out what he did so they can do it. So I thought that I would share this just in case this gives some of you ideas on something that, uh, you know, something that may work for you. So here's the video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video, and leave your comments in the comment section. Thank you. To protect it from electromagnetic frequencies such as Wi-Fi, cell phones, um, cell towers, and potentially 5G. So I'll explain a few things in this video. One is what we did to our house and why, and um, talk about the things that we did in specifics to the product we used, and also how we made our home Wi-Fi free. So to start, why did we do this? We had been doing a number of, uh, looking into a lot of things regarding electromagnetic frequencies and the effects on your, your health, particularly to young children. That was the main thing that my wife and I were concerned about. And so we hired a fellow named Ross Anderson who was kind of like an EMF consultant. And I did a, an episode with him on Liberty on the Land. I'll link to it in the, in the video here if you want to check it out. Um, we hired him to kind of, he brought in a bunch of reading uh, mechanisms, like uh, different types of devices that can detect certain types of electro electromagnetic frequencies, such as um, cell towers, different types of radio frequencies that are all around us. Um, dirty electricity in the home. He had all these different types of devices and so we had him here for a few hours and he kind of gave us a breakdown of um, what we had been dealing with and then what we should, some recommendations he would make for us to change it. So he basically came to the conclusion that if you're really concerned about how this stuff affects your children, there's a number of things you can do. First of all, he said, you know, the easiest thing, well, not the easiest, but something that you can have a radical effect on um, is move. And so uh, we were like, well, we don't want to move right now because we've put a lot into our home and we like living here. And so we're not ready to move. Um, and then he said, okay, well, then there's a number of things you can do. One is, you know, get rid of your Wi-Fi. And so that was easy to do. And then the other thing is protect your home from electromagnetic frequencies around us and so these things are all around us right right now i've got this little this is just like a handheld device the way these things are measured are in what's called micro watts per meter squared and apparent and so what that is is calculating in a square meter area how much energy is in that area and uh, i'm not an expert on this and so i'm just kind of talking what i've learned and um and so take what you will from it but I have this little meter that measures this stuff and it really just gives me a broad, a broad measurement. So as I stand out here on the deck, there's, a, there's actually a cell tower in view of my home on that, that building that's about probably three blocks away as the crow flies. And when I stand out here, I'm getting a reading of, it's, it's, in, it's in the orange, so it's anywhere between a hundred to a thousand microwatts per meter squared. Now there are times of the day that this actually goes up to like 8,000 microwatts per meter squared. You can see that right there. And then there's sort of a reference down here. Um, and so that's considered dangerous. And really, any, they say anything over five 
is dangerous, but you could be downtown in a city where there's lots of cell towers and you'll be getting 10,000 or more microwatts per meter square. Last time I was in Calgary, I brought this thing with me and I was downtown and I turned it, oh, so it just kind of flashed onto the extreme. So yeah, it's, we're probably, we're probably close to 8,000 microwatts per meter squared. I remember when Ross was here, he, with his measurement uh, instruments that are accurate to the microwatt, it was about 8,000 while we were out here. But anyways, I was downtown in Calgary and I had this thing with me and it was just like off the chart. So that was, you know, you're getting radiated um, in, that, in that situation. So, okay, so that's this thing. So basically, you know, we wanted to, to change that. And so what we did is we painted our home because we, we redid the siding on our home anyways. And so we used um, what's called hardy board. And uh, we, there was this kind of crappy stucco stuff on here before and we didn't want to bother dealing with that as in chipping it off and all that. So we went right over top of it. And then we had to paint anyways. So some, some people, you can just get hardy board that's colored and then just put the hardy board on and you're done, you don't have to paint. But we wanted to paint on this product so we got just like a, a neutral hardy board and then we painted this with a black paint called Y Shield, which is kind of like I don't know if it's what they use on stealth bombers, but it's essentially the same idea and then it blocks radio frequencies and it's been incredibly effective. Um, and we even did underneath the trim on the house too. And we don't have the windows done yet, but any of these new windows that are UV treated are actually quite, um, they block out quite a bit of electromagnetic frequencies. And so we did the whole home with this stuff. So our house is basically covered in this and it and it's a black paint. So our neighbors kind of thought we were crazy for, for the first day that we painted the house black. It actually kind of looked cool, especially with the with the stained cedar trim. But uh, and then we just painted a color over top of it. And so it's been incredible. So basically from when I stand outside of here and we're getting, you know, somewhere around 8,000 microwatts per meter square, we go into our bedroom and it's significantly reduced and, and when i close the door behind me it's even more and then the beautiful thing is because the way our heads are positioned in our bedroom at the heads of our pillows we're in the safe zone we're in the green zone so that's really really important for us and then in our daughter's bedroom it's the same thing it's 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 dead safe and so in our home overall it's about it's in the sort of hovering between the green and the red zone on this little meter thing. Now there's some things we can do to make our home even better. One is do our roof and so that has yet to be done. We're going to be reshingling next year and so at that point what we'll do is when we strip the old shingles off we'll be painting more of that Y shield paint on right on the uh, right at the base of the whatever it is OSB or whatever the plywood is underneath the shingling then we reshingle and then we put our solar panels back too so it's quite a bit of work to reshingle when you have panels um, and so the other thing we're going to do is we're going to get films for the windows here and then that will make another significant difference as well but so far it's been really good and i can honestly tell you that the day that we painted this stuff on the black stuff we slept like unbelievably myself my wife and my daughter we didn't have our son at the time but we slept unbelievably and ever since then it's been just as good and we sleep really well um, so to the Wi-Fi there's some things we did in the home that made a significant difference as well one was we had to kill the Wi-Fi you can't if you have an EMF proof home and you have Wi-Fi in it and that's bouncing around um, I don't know if it's worse but it, it's not good right you're you're still getting some kinds of uh, electromagnetic frequencies on you so we killed that the first thing we did well what, what we have now is we've actually hardwired cat 6 cables so I have like a home based uh, network um, and I have the internet on there as well as I have a, a, um, a NAS drive a, a server which is great for me because I work in different places in the home. Sometimes I'm working editing videos in the greenhouse. Sometimes I'm just in the kitchen hanging out with my family. Uh, so that's what we did eventually. But the first thing we did is we went just to Best Buy and bought these, these power line um, network things that are, is an easy way to kill Wi-Fi right away. And I actually was using them years ago just to get internet into my greenhouse from the home. Uh, and they just go to the power line, you hook it up to your router, and then that it transmits an internet signal over the power lines. Now it's not great. They're kind of they're kind of dodgy, 
they have a tendency to cut in and out. I remember I was doing a live session on YouTube because, and it was through that and it totally dropped. So they're unreliable. So we, we've eventually upgraded to Cat6. Um, just ethernet basically so we ha we don't have any wi-fi in the home whatsoever or in the greenhouse it's all cat six and so that cost maybe two thousand bucks to do that and if we were building a new home or if we would have done that when we were renovating then we would have saved ourselves so much so much hassle but we weren't really we didn't really know about this stuff back then and and uh yeah so we paid a little bit more to uh because we weren't we weren't uh thinking ahead well enough um, so that's that's what we've done there and um, It's the whole thing has had a, has had a huge impact on our life. You, you don't really know How EMF is affecting you? This is at least my experience You don't know how it's affecting you until you get away from it So some you go out into a cabin go out in, way out into the woods where you can't even get a cell signal and spend a few days out there and just really think about how you feel that's how we feel when we go in our home now. It's amazing. It feels very grounded. It's hard to describe, but this, we notice in our sleep, 100%. Um, but it, it's a similar thing when you go into a cabin. And so it, we, I don't regret any of it. Um, it. It was worth every penny. I would say all in all, it probably to do everything that we've done, get rid of Wi-Fi, paint our home. And, and, and uh, what else did we do? You know, we had those power line things. It doesn't only cost a couple hundred bucks. I would say all in all, we've spent around $4,000 or less Canadian to do all of this. So to, to paint the home uh, and do all that. Because we were, we were going to do the renovations anyways. So the painting with the Y-Shield paint was only an extra day of painting for some guys to do it. And the paint's really thick. Like it goes on really slow. And so it, it, it takes quite a bit of time. Uh, but it was an extra day of work for three guys and the paint i think we we used about 700 dollars worth of that paint you can buy it right on amazon it's it's not it's not that expensive and for what it does in my opinion it's worth every single penny so that's essentially what we've done like i said you know going forward we're going to redo the roof uh, which has to be done anyways and then just put down some more y shield paint on the on the osb or the plywood whatever's underneath there and then we'll eventually do window films and um yeah, I'd, I'd like to get it to a point where when I walk around my home, this thing is in the green the entire time. That's not the case. Um, it's it's kind of hovering between the green and the and the bottom orange, which is moderate, which is somewhere around 10 to 100, or the, the yellow, 10 to 100 microwatts per meter squared, which is which is which is still pretty good. Um, the, the the key is with all this stuff is it's just about reduction, right? And you you can't get rid of it all because as soon as you step outside as soon as i come on the back door here i'm getting blasted by electromagnetic frequencies and thank god we don't have 5g yet because that's a whole other conversation but uh i don't <laughs> if and when 5g comes to clona i don't think we'll be here anymore frankly i it's it, it just the more i've looked into it the more insane it seems they got to have a a tower every hundred feet or 300 feet or something it's ridiculous how much radiation they're gonna be putting on people so I don't think we'll be here much longer if that is the case but it still looks like a few years down the road here um, but but to my point that I was trying to make is that it's really just about reduction and so you might be saying well Curtis I don't know my own home I can't do all that well you know what you can do even if you're in a rental is you can paint the inside of your bedroom and if you can if you can significantly reduce the amount of electro electromagnetic frequencies you get when you sleep that's one third of your life right there so that's huge and maybe you can do your kids room of course you do your kids room i, I do my kids room before i did my own but that you know you you can do that you can start there you can you can even paint the stuff on the interior of your house it doesn't have to be on the exterior and um, I, I've seen, I've searched around online and some people also doing this stuff and, and I see a lot of people saying that you have to ground it. As far as I can tell, that's only a thing for liability and regulation. It's not really a thing that's needed. It doesn't make any difference uh, if you run a ground or not. From what I can tell, from looking at the meters and measuring everything in our home, it doesn't seem to make any difference. But you know, maybe somebody has something to say about that or dispute it. But yeah, that's essentially, what we've done, I know a lot of people have been asking me to talk about this for a while, and so there it is. Um, I'll link to that product in the show notes. You can buy it on Amazon. And um, there's other products out there too, like um, 
different types of fabrics you can wear or you know even curtains and things like this or or the the window films that you can put on there's all kinds of products out there and I don't know a ton about all of them I've just kind of looked at the ones that we've used so I hope you guys find that helpful and we'll see you in the next video